Hi folks, my name is Jeff Rugrock, all things code, uh, sorry, all things code, all things print, all things print this semester. Uh, we've been working away at a series of drawings just to familiarize yourself with um, drafting techniques for plumbers and some of the symbols we use. And now we're going to talk about a T. We've done the 90 already. Uh, if you recall when we did the 90, or if you don't recall, I always have a rough draft, so I know approximately what I'm looking for. This one was based on a 90 degree looking down, a 90 degree looking up, and then symbols that represent, centerline symbols that represent those two um, very fittings. So I've already done the exact same thing, but for my T away, or down and away, looking at the back of it. And then looking at the face of it, um, where you can see right inside the fitting, is this one. I guess I can put a little line in there too. And then the symbols that go with it, right? The opening and the back of fitting running right through the opening. And those are center line drawings. CL, CL. Anyhow, uh, so we've got that on the, on the go here. The 90 degree elbows, this is what they finished up looking like. So again, this is the back of the elbow, where you can see the other socket, but it's in the background. This is looking right into the um, socket of an elbow, and then the symbols that go with that. So, T up next. Uh, the other thing that you should be familiar with by now is that I love my projection lines, because it allows me to draw one line and use it for multiple things throughout the drawing process. So in this particular instance, I'm drawing my square, or my t um, my crosshairs for doing my circles. And I cheat a little bit here. I have that pre-marked, and I also have my compass set up into what I think will work. So this is going to be the 90 down and away. So most of the circle will be erased, except for... the outsides of it. This circle is the up towards, so I'm going to see this fitting entirely. And I'm doing the outside of this, the hub or the socket, if you will. Engagement, looking down inside the engagement. I'll need the whole circle for both of these ones too. There we go. And then I'm just going to come in a little bit. Uh, I'd suggest you come in, I don't know, 3 16ths of an inch or something like that to show the actual edge of the hub. And then these are the lines I'll also use to create the body because I'm going to make the body the same as the inside circle and the sockets the same as the outside circle. So yeah, that's pretty good right there. Well, on the way I can set my compass aside now and you'll see that this is starting to look a little bit what I'm after. I got my full circle there. I got my partial circles top and bottom here. Now I just got to add the body. Well, I guess I can do this one first too, can I? And I'm just going to use my marker right away on this one. Because this is the down in the way, so the center line runs right through the fitting. And then for this one, we run to the fitting. So you know that's what it's going to look like when it's all finished, just as it did for my 90s. The other ones are a bit more complex, so I'm going to take a bit more time with those.
keep it light. So I'm just finding that inside circle, the outside circle. The outside of the circle is from my hub. The inside of the circle is what I'm using for the body of my fitting. Could have done the same over here, I guess. Again, I could have run right across, right? Then we can put our sockets on. So I'm just going to pull this out, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. I'm going to get up my marker and just put my socket on right away. Sockets as wide as, this, as the large diameter. I'm going to make it about three-quarters of an inch wide. And you'll often find the engagement somewhere in there. Again, we're not mark we're not scaling anything yet. That will come. So these really are approximate for me. And again, you'll be submitting them online. So really I won't be able to tell what's what anyhow. So far as scale is concerned. Oh no, this is not being submitted online, is it this one? This one, this one, we should be able to have, you should be able to submit the entire booklet when it's done. So there you go. Oh, I missed a couple of lines here. You can see how this is all coming together. I won't torture you with every tiny detail. The marker's running dry, maybe. There we go. But the thing is, you use your initial lines and then you embolden everything. I'm using a marker because it shows up better on the camera. Um, but essentially, these are those uh, T symbols down and away, down and away, up towards you and up towards you. So looking into the engagement and looking at the back of the fitting. Those are your two symbols for that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to carry on cleaning this all up. Make sure you put your name and the date. 
and then go ahead and check off all the items when you're done them. Drafting tools, title block, lecture items, and samples of each. There we go. I'll finish that up, and that's it for now.